Hey, I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. I hope you're doing well. I want to talk to you today about a subject about drifting away or staying where God wants us to be. You know, those two things, while said different, have different words, they really have the same meaning, right? I was just recently down at the coast, um, and my wife was kind enough to uh, let me rent a boat. I love to go out and you know, go around and see what all you can see and, and find little deserted areas to find shells and whatnot. But so I rented this boat. If you're listening on the podcast, you're not going to be able to see the video, but let me describe it to you. So we have this boat and we've rented it. We take it out and you see this anchor into the sand there. And of course the rope is connected to the boat. And as you start to look around in the video, you see that the boat is kind of sitting in the still water, but right beyond the still water is where it's really flowing fast. The water is coming in. It's going around the boat, but I pulled the boat up into an area where the water was not pushing through it. And I've anchored it to where even if there is a little bit of push from the water, that the boat is secure through this anchor. Well, why is that important in our relationship with God? What would that have to do with anything about your daily life? You know, it's interesting. It has a lot to do with it because depending on where you put yourself uh, will really affect what type of day you have, what kind of week you have, what kind of year. It will really affect the type of mood. It will re affect your personality, right? Because where you are and the things you surround yourself with have a huge impact on you. But here's the bigger thing for me. As I'm sitting there on the boat and looking at this, I think, you know, the times that I've gotten away from God, the times that I have kind of looked back and been like, wow, how did I get so far away? You know, I wasn't really doing anything bad. I wasn't out, you know, getting drunk or cheating on my wife or any of that, but I just wasn't where I needed to be with God. Well, Hebrews 2, 1 says, Therefore we ought to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should let them slip. So the things we've heard, the things we've studied, God's Word... When we look at our lives, when I look at my life, when you look at your life, do you see Christ? Do you see Christ in your actions and in your words and in your lifestyle? Do you see yourself applying God's word to your everyday life? Because I, you know, being honest with myself, I know when I'm not. It might take me a while to, you know, admit it and, and get to the point where I want to address it, but I pretty much know pretty quick that, hey, you handled that situation right, or you handled that moment, or whatever's going, that stressful phone call or email or text, you handled it right, but also know when I don't. But in Hebrews 2, it says, lest at any time we should let them slip. And see, that's that anchor on the boat. That anchor keeps that boat from slipping. So what does it mean to slip? What does it mean in the terms of the Greek language right here? The de definition is to flow by or slip away. And the usage here is to flow past or glide past or perish or drift away. See, so if you're where God wants you to be, and you're anchored in His Word, and you're heeding His Word, and you're applying it to your life, all the things are going to flow by you. Because we're going to be where God wants us to be. Now, does that mean we're going to have a perfect life? Absolutely not. You're still going to have challenges. You're still going to have things that come into your life, but it means you're not going to be causing additional things to come into your life. Because the other side here is to perish or drift away. See, if I'd have let that boat out further and I wouldn't have anchored it and gone for a walk on the beach when I came back, what would have happened? My boat wouldn't have been there. Same thing happens in my life, in my walk with God. If I'm not paying attention to where I am, if I'm not heeding His Word and I'm not applying His Word, then I start to drift away. And the further I drift away, the more likely I am to make a mistake 
or say something I shouldn't or act a way I shouldn't. And when then when I do, now I've got to not only come back to God, but I've got to deal with the consequences of my actions. Whereas if I had stayed up, if I'd have heeded his word and stayed where I should have been, I could have avoided that situation. So I want to really challenge you. Where are you? Where are you with God? Are you heeding his word? Are you applying it to your life? Are you really digging in and sinking that anchor into his word? Or are you just kind of letting your boat and your life just kind of drift? You're not out in the deep water. You're not out in the swift currents. You're not out in the, the rip tides or anything like that. But you're just on the edge. You got a little bit of pull going on here and there. I want to encourage you. The sooner that you can pull into God and start heeding his word the more you're going to start seeing those things that you could have avoided, you're going to see how you can avoid them. And then when you avoid them, then you have this ability to create what God is, wants us to have in our lives, peace and contentment and joy. If I can ever help you in any way, if I can answer any questions for you, if I can be of encouragement to you, don't hesitate to reach out. You can learn more about me, Nathan Tabor, and my ministry, Handling Life, at handlinglife.org.